Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have some bookish mail that I wanted to share with you all today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with this box. So I had ordered this because um, I had heard about it and it's like a retelling, but it's really cool because it's going to be, there's going to be um, two other books right after it. So there's going to be another book written by um, Danielle Clayton um, in 2021. And then there's going to be another book written by L.L. McKinney in 2022 and what that is this is going to be books pretty much generations apart so i think that's really neat so for this book right here the first book for this retelling is by julie dow um and it is the mirror the mirror broken wish right here and it says family curses always start somewhere so here is the cover and pretty much this is like a retelling like i said and then after and then for the next book it's going to be like a, a generation later and then the, the third book a generation or so far later so it's like a generational type of story that i have never read before anything like that so i thought that'd be very interesting but i love the cover alone and then we take the just jacket off it's like a grayish color with a uh, pink fuchsia foiling and so it has the book one right there and it's the mirror series so that's what that is and then let me read the synopsis and tell you what it's about oh and also right here if you go here it has the agnes family agnes b 1818 oscar b 1818 and then you have the Meth methodist um family called mathilda so i believe this is what we're following that has like a little tree and everything so that's pretty cool but let me read the synopsis. So it says, The Mere Broken Wish marks the first book in an innovative young adult series written by Julie C. Dow, Daniel Clayton, O.J.C. Cervanti, and L.L. McKenney, following one family over several generations and the curse that plagues it. Welcome to a new sort of fairy tale. So this one starts in Hanu, Hanu uh, Germany in 1865. And it says, 16-year-old uh, Elva has a secret. She has visions and strange, she has visions and strange powers that she will do anything to hide. She knows the warnings about what happens to witches in their small village. She's heard the terrible things people say about the witch of the North Woods and the malicious hunts that follow. But when Elva accidentally witnesses a devastating vision of the future, she decides she has to do everything she can to prevent it. Tapping into her powers for this first time, Elva discovers a magical mirror and its owner, none other than the witch of the North Woods herself. As Elva learns more about her uh, bargaining magic and the lines between hero and villain start to blur she must find a way to write past wrongs before it's too late so overall uh, it sounds amazing uh, about magic witches i'm all for it so i thought this would be a really uh, cool read especially there'll be three authors that will be writing um in this series but look at the spine too it's so it's beautiful sorry about the glare but it looks amazing um but yeah so even the back it says there's powers and a promise no matter who you make it to the most powerful are made when magic is involved if you break one of those promises you release its energy into the world Mathilda said Agnes found that she was holding her breath what happens then no one knows where magic gives it can also take in ways that no one can foresee so i definitely i definitely want to read this before the year is over um that's one of my goals i definitely will be doing the end of the year book tag so you probably will, will see this book in there um but i definitely want to read this before this year is out and i just think it's a perfect read especially for this time of year and then let's see i got this package and this is from pug pages and i know what this is um i had ordered this because she does a lot of um creative things and she does her own little stylings with books and everything so she customizes them um, based on the book of what the book is and, and everything like that um, she had done um, Cinderella by Kaylin um, Barron um, and she did the purple type of spray edges and stuff like that so she's good at customizing books so I was I wanted her to or she was customizing one book that I was anticipating this year and definitely want to read before this year is out as well. And she customized it and it looks beautiful. And that is Smash It by Francina Simone. Um, so she had customized it and did this to the edges. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's like a neon green with splattered, uh, you know, splattered paint along the edges. I thought that was beautiful. See, 
I thought that was pretty neat. And then um, like all alone, the cover is beautiful. But then once you take the dust jacket off, she also customized it as well right here. And it says smash it. See the little paint on it? I thought that was so cool and neat. I just couldn't pass it up. So I've got this and I've been looking forward to reading this as well. Um, but yeah, smash it. Smash it by Francina Simone. Everyone's probably heard of it. It's been, uh, uh, you know, some people have been downing it and everything like that due to the author. But I wanted to read it for myself and get my own opinion about it um, because I feel like that would be right just to read it and to develop my own opinions about it. But this is most likely, um, it's more like a fellow retelling. So I'm like, okay, that sounds pretty cool. So yeah, so but even the cover, like I said, it is gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Um, but let me read you the synopsis. So it says, Olivia Liv James is done with letting her insecurities get the best of her. So she does what any self-respecting hot mess of a girl who wants to smash junior year does. After Liv shows up to a Halloween party in khaki shorts, why, God, why, she decides to set aside her whack AF ways. She makes a list, she makes a list, a fuck it, fuck it list. <laughs> One, be bold, do the things that scare you or that scare me. Two, learn to take a compliment. Three, stand out instead of back. She kicks it off by trying out for the school musical, saying yes to a date and making new friends. However, with change, however, with change comes a lot of missteps and being bold means following her heart. So what happens when Liv's heart is interested in three different guys and two of them are her best friends? How does one smash it after the humiliation of being friend zoned? In Liv's own words, fuck it. What's the worst that can happen? A lot, apparently. Hashtag smash it. So... It already sounds like a very interesting book, a very interesting read. I want to know more about Liv. I want to know more about her fuck it list. So I thought this would be a very, very good read to read, but definitely before the year is out. So I got this and I ordered it, but yeah, I got it from Pug Pages. I will leave her Instagram link and everything down below if you want to check her out. She has done a couple of books um, that she had customizes as spray edges and everything like that. So I definitely will leave her stuff down below if you want to, you know, give her a go. But here's that. Next thing we have, I believe I won this from a raffle. I forget what raffle it was, um, but I was able to win it. So I have this and I have Judges Girls by uh, Sharina Harris. This comes out, well, it came out on the 27th of this month. So it came out like yesterday, I believe. So I have this, this is the ARC and family is what you make it, Judges Girls. And then I received this letter here and it says, Dear Reader, let me introduce you to my favorite residents in Hope Springs, Georgia, Maya, Ryder, and Jenny. These ladies are as different as night and day, but they have one thing in common, their love for Judge Just Joseph Donaldson. Relax, this book isn't a polygamous type of love situation. Judge Joe is the family patriarch, but rumor, rumor mills are still running in that in their not so sleepy Georgia town. When Judge Joe suddenly passes away, he leaves a will with a stunning provision to collect their inheritance, his lawyer daughter, Maya, her stepmother, Jeannie, and Jeannie's teen daughter, Ryder, must live together at the family lake house. Maya doesn't exactly get along with Jeannie, a fragile ex-beauty queen who was once Judge, Judge Joe's much younger white uh, secretary, but they reluctantly agree to try an, an uneasy peace for as long as it takes. Now with trouble, they didn't see coming and secrets they can no longer hide. These women, women must somehow find the courage to admit their mistakes, see each other for who they really are, and slowly, perhaps even joyfully, discover everything they could be. I hope you will enjoy this emotional journey with these brave but vastly different women who, despite starting off, starting off with only one thing in common, discover the true meaning of family, no matter race, religion, or upbringing. If you like to share your thoughts on social media, please do so. And it gives me instructions to share on social media. But yeah, I think this sounds really, really cool. I do like this a lot. It sounds something up my alley. Um, but let me see if this gives you even more, uh, like says, let's see. Pretty much it gives you everything and with the synopsis. But yes, it came out yesterday. I do plan on reading it. I think the cover is really cool. I do love blue. I love that there is diversity in the book. Um, so yeah, I want to definitely give it a go. I don't know when I'll read it, but I definitely will read it soon. But we have this one that I received. And then let me see. I think I also got this also from a raffle. <laughs> I just, I enter raffles I, I find interesting and books that I would think I would like to read. So let me open this one here I have the package 
Okay, yeah, so this one is from a raffle as well. And I thought, I never, I haven't heard anything about this over booktube or anything like that regarding the book. And that is, there's nothing like a black salesman on a mission. And it's Black Buck, a novel by Mateo Ascarapur. So we have this book right here. I thought this sounded really cool. Of course, it's set in New York City. Um, but yeah, this is Advanced Reader's copy. This comes out January 2021. Um, so yes, I don't know much about this, but I definitely want to read the synopsis. And then I definitely got a note with the book as well. And it says, Dear Reader, Thank you for requesting uh, Black Buck um, by Matea Oscarpour. Um, uh, it says, Black Buck is a hilarious, razor sharp skewering of America's workforce. It is a propulsive, a propulsive crackling debut that explores ambition and race and, and makes way for a necessary new vision of the American dream. An unambitious 22 year old Darren lives in a bed sty or bed sty brownstone with his mother who wants nothing more than to see him live up to his potential as a valedictorian of Bronx science. But Darren is content working at Starbucks in the lobby of a midtown office building, hanging out with his girlfriend, Soraya, and eating his mother's home cooked meals. All that changes when a chance encounter when a chance encounter with uh, Rhett Daniels, the silver tongued CEO of someone um, NYC's hottest tech startup results in an exclusive invitation for Darren to join an elite sales team on the 13th, 13th uh, 36th floor, excuse me. After enduring a hell week of training, Darren, the only black person in the company, reimagines himself as Buck, a ruthless salesman unrecognizable to his friends and family. But when things turn tragic at home and Buck feels he's hit rock bottom, he begins to hatch a plan to help young people of color infiltrate America's sales force, setting off a chain of events, setting off a chain of events that forever changes the game. If you enjoy the read as much as we hope you will, we would be honored if you would share this book on social media and what have you. So there is that. So honestly, this sounds really good. This comes out, like I said, next year in 2021. Wow, this definitely sounds right up my alley and it sounds really good and I do love the cover. It's really beautiful, but here is the author and this must be his debut. Oh, but yes, this sounds really good. It says, for fans of Sorry to Bother You and The Wolf of Wall Street, a blazing satirical um, debut novel about a young man gives a shot at stardom as the lone, as the lone black salesman at a mysterious cult-like and wildly successful startup where nothing is as it seems. So, ooh, yeah, I definitely will be reading this in January. This sounds something, yeah, I definitely will read this in January because this definitely sounds good. Um, definitely and that I feel like with the startup companies that is something that I will say that is very common where there's not there's really no diversity at all um and you're like the token black person um but yes yeah, so this is definitely something I'll be reading next year in January and then the next one let me see I think I have another one here okay I have another package and this is from Macmillan Publishers. Okay, so I don't know what this is, so we're gonna open it. So I got this right here. Oh, what is this? It says, there was, uh, there was only one difference between monsters and gods, both inspired fear. Only one inspired worship. Hmm, so I have this. Is that all that's in here? maybe not or I think this is something that a little a little poster that I was able to get since I pre-ordered this book I think I know what it is okay I think that's it out in that box okay so there they are each other's fiercest love greatest danger and only hope Okay, so yes, yeah, so this is something that since I pre-ordered it, I was able to get this poster. It says, hello, thank you so much for participating in our special Alcrate pre-order uh, sweepstakes for the Silver Serpents by New York Times bestseller author Roshani Chosky. Enclosed, you will find your exclusive quote print and we hope you, and we hope you love it as much as we do. Be sure to share your photos and videos with us by using the handles and hashtags below. So yeah, so I was able to get this poster and it's really gorgeous. Now I just need, I might do a nice little cute picture along with this and my book um, with it. So yeah, so The Silver Serpents, as you know, just came out and I plan on reading that in December because it's like a Christmassy read, um, but that is The Silver Serpents right here. But yeah, so I was able to get this beautiful little art print right here. So that's pretty cool. So I got that. 
And then I got this as well. And this is from Lit Joy Crate. So I got this box, this little box here. And I think this is something also that was something that I pre-ordered. I ordered. And this also came along with the book, but they weren't ready yet. So yeah, okay. So this is the little art print that I uh, was um that I was supposed to receive for the um Pride and Prejudice exclusive cover edition that no one has. So this is this right here. So I was able to get this art print of Pride and Prejudice of you know Elizabeth and Darcy and all that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Sorry about the glare, but isn't this gorgeous? I love this so much. Now I need like create little beautiful pictures. But yeah, so we have that from Lit Joy Crate. Mm. So we got that. So that is what I received from there. Make sure nothing else ends in there. And then next, let's see. Last but not least, this is a box that just came in the mail today and this is from Source Books. So let's go ahead and open this. All right. So I don't, all right, let me see if I can open this. Didn't bring my box cutter, so I'm like using a knife instead. So hopefully it'll work in my favor. <laughs> I think I got it. Oh man, it's heavy too, I will say. All right. So, ooh. all right, so I'm opening it up. So first book that I see is Be Dazzled. Something is, sometimes a breakup is your chance to break out. This comes in on, uh, this comes out January the 5th of next year. And this is by, it says Be Dazzled by Ryan Lagala. So we have this book. Isn't the cover beautiful? I love this so much. Okay, so it says Be Dazzled. Let me read the synopsis. So it says, Project Runway goes to Comic Con in an epic queer love story about creativity, passion, and finding the courage to be your most authentic self. Rafi has a passion for creation. He's always chosen his art over everything else and is determined to make his mark at this year's biggest cosplay uh, competition. If he can wow there, yeah, if he can wow there, it could lead to sponsorship, then art school, and finally earning real respect for his work. There's only one small problem. Rafi's ex-boyfriend, Luca, is his main competition. Rafi tried to make it work with Luca. They almost made the perfect team last year after serendipitously meeting in the rhinestone aisle at the local craft store, or at least Rafi thought they did. But Luca's insecurities and Rafi's insistence on crafting perfection caused the relationship to crash and burn. Now Rafi is after the perfect comeback, one Luca can't ruin. But when Rafi is forced to partner with Luca on his most ambitious build yet, he'll have to juggle unresolved feelings for the boy who broke his heart and his own intense self-doubt to get everything he's ever wanted choosing his art choosing his art his way so like i said this comes out january the 5th of next year and it really sounds good and i do love a nice little queer uh queer read um but yeah the queer love story i'm all for so yeah so we have this one from source books okay next one we have the frozen prince this comes out in december it's by maxim m marchnu so we have this one this looks really cool and let me read the synopsis. It says, I will fight for her, for all of us, until I have nothing left to give. Nock, leader of an assassins of Kurur, uh, may have broken the curse that's kept him trapped for so many years, but the dark magic won't be denied. If he doesn't kill Lena, the girl he can't live without, then his own life will be given as payment. To make matters worse, the truth of his past has fallen into the hands of his enemies, threatening everyone he's ever loved, and their time is running out. Lena has finally come into her own as a charmer and would do anything to help Nock survive. When she learns of a magical creature that may be able to save him, she gathers her courage and sets out for the frozen north. But what starts as a hunt for answers quickly turns deadly, and soon Lena, Nock, and their trusted band of assassins find themselves face to face with an enemy more terrible and powerful than they could have ever imagined. Oh, so this sounds pretty cool. I do like this. But yeah, isn't the cover like gorgeous? Like, look at that so we have this and i think this book right here goes along with it i think so this is i think this might be the first one kingdom of exiles also about maxim maxim and martini yes yeah, so i think this might be the first one i'm guessing and this is the second book right here so 
So I think this is the first one and this one's the second one. Uh, this one says Kingdom of Exiles. And it says, I will not fall, I will not flee, I will not break. It says, as a charmer, Lena Edenfrell came tame, can tame the rare magical beasts that inhabit her world. When she's falsely accused of using her magic to charm a human, she's exiled and forced to sell her beloved beast to survive. It's heartbreaking work, but if she can just make it through the next week, she'll have everything she needs to prove her innocence and return to the only home she's ever known. That is until she learns that the Charmer's Council has sent Nock, the realm's deadliest hunter, to find her, and Nock will stop at nothing until she's dead. Determined to evade capture, Lena offers a dangerous assassin a deal, four magical beasts in exchange for her life. Beasts with power strong enough to break the curse that's killed everyone he's ever loved. Nock needs Lena, yet as these unluck unluckily allies cross the realm in search of mythical creatures, Lena can't help but feel that Nock is hiding something and that no matter how hard she fights, her time may soon be running out. So this is the first book and this will be the second book. So I definitely will read this one and then read this one before hopefully it comes out in December, but I'm not sure it's not a guarantee. All right, and then the last book that I received from Source Books is The Bone Witch. It says, let me let me be clear. I never intended to raise my brother from his grave. And it's by Rin Chichepko, author of The Girl from the Well. So this looks really cute. So I got this book, and this sounds very interesting. I have not read The Bone Witch before. I, I think I've seen some people in BookTube read it, and they loved it. Some people didn't, but I'm going to get my own opinion by reading it. Um, but it says, The beast raged. It punctured the air with its spite, but the girl was fiercer. T is different from the other witches in her family. Her gift for necromancy makes her a bone witch, who are feared and ostracized in the kingdom. For theirs, for, their, for theirs is a powerful elemental magic that can reach beyond the boundaries of the living and of the human. Great power comes at a price, forcing T to leave her homeland to train under the guidance of an older, wiser bone witch. There, T puts all her energy into becoming an Asha, learning to control her elemental magic and those beasts who will submit by no other force. And T must be strong, stronger than she even believes possible, because war is brewing in the eight kingdoms, war that will threaten the sovereignty of her homeland and threaten the very survival of those she loves. Lyrical and action-packed, this start of a new fantasy series by acclaimed author Ren Chepeko will leave you breathless. So there you have it. This is the last book that I got and that is all of my book mail. So I hope you enjoyed this bookish book mail video. <laughs> I received a lot of things in the mail and I wanted to share it all with you. Um, but anywho, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much you guys for watching. See ya!